Good evening, everyone, and hello, New York. Obviously, I was deeply honored when Bob asked me to debut my stand-up act with you all tonight. I was so relieved to be invited back, but then I started to question whether his invite for me to actually do stand-up was in fact his idea of a joke. Either way, due to the shockingly low representation of gingers last year, and out of respect for my fellow endangered species, here I am, reporting for duty. Now, you're probably thinking, please God, don't let him drink beer out of a prosthetic limb again, or make some inappropriate joke that only the military amongst us would get. Well, I assure you there's no need to worry, because I was born for this. As someone who never gets scrutinized, I haven't even had to prepare much, but out of an abundance of caution, I have been working on this particular act for quite some time, and everyone I know tells me it's perfect. And no, these aren't people who just tell me what I want to hear. <coughs> so we're not doing the thing? No. I thought that was going rather well. <clears throat> Thank you for having me to this splendid evening, celebrating our incredible uh, veterans. It's okay. I got this. <clears throat> our military community is special. It's one that shares incredible highs and painful lows. It is unique, and it is hugely important to society, both during active service and after. Our community is valued more than you'll ever know, and nights like this are testament to that. I've said it before and I'll say it again, service is what happens in the quiet and in the chaos. And whether we're still wearing the uniform or not, we must continue to uphold the values we learnt side by side on base, on the drill square, and on the battlefield. Values of service, values of honour and integrity, and values of togetherness and solidarity. I know our experiences and journeys to this point differ, but we are always connected through what we've learned as humans, what we've faced as families, and how we've come out stronger because of our ability to listen, to understand. I am immensely grateful for this community, for the experiences of the past and present, and for what you represent and how you show up. Tonight is for you, to laugh, to enjoy, to heal, and to be celebrated together. To the supporters in the room, thank you for standing with veterans and their families tonight. It means the world. To Bob and Lee, thank you as always for your dedication, and of course, your friendship. I am deeply appreciative of the attention and support you bring to this community here in the US and couldn't be more proud to support you tonight. I salute each and every one of you, my brothers, my sisters, my friends, through respect, understanding, and admiration. And please remember, if ever you feel lost or alone with all that's going on, don't forget the power of purpose and upholding the important values you know so well. That'll always give you the clarity and company you need.